Welcome to the AFL Brisbane Juniors Ground Marshal training video. The Ground Marshal is the most important role for maintaining the positive match day environment. The three duties of Ground Marshalling are 1. Maintaining match day schedule 2. Managing the environment and 3. Supporting the umpires. The key to marshalling is to be firm, friendly but forceful when required. On match day, the Ground Marshal is a key volunteer to ensure the day runs smoothly. One per match is supplied by the home club and wears a designated bib for easy identification. For the first home game of the day, you complete the JLT match day checklist. This is a simple insurance requirement to cover participants, volunteers and the club on the day. Prior to the game, introduce yourself to the team managers from both teams. During the game, monitor from outside the fence to avoid risk of contact with players. If no fence, a few metres back from the boundary line. When required, you may enter to speak with team managers or coaches. Monitor the crowd throughout the game to ensure positive behaviour. You will also monitor water carriers, runners and trainers to ensure they do not linger unnecessarily on the field. If they do, report to the umpire at the next quarter break. The Grand Marshal's role in maintaining the environment is essential in creating a friendly atmosphere and resolving issues as they arise. These may include conflict between coaches, players, umpires, and spectators. In the event of conflict, the Grand Marshals will engage people involved to resolve the issue to ensure a positive match day environment. Are you upsetting me? How many times? You gotta protect the kids' heads! To defuse conflicts, approach the person in a polite and calm manner. Engage the relevant team manager for third party support. Defusing conflict means using calm body language while asking a question to defuse the conflict. For example, did you know that your manner is against the code of conduct? Could you please refrain from acting this way? In addition, the ground marshal may ask, did you know the water carrier is not permitted in the coach's box? Could you please arrange for them to leave? Everyone involved on match day must abide by the code of conduct. This initial communication is a warning. If the same person repeats their action a second time, then you need to report the incident to your club president by filling out a ground marshal incident form, available on the league website. The ground marshal also helps to support the umpires. You'll introduce yourself to the umpire 30 minutes before the game and meet the umpire 10 minutes before the game to escort them onto the field. You'll also escort the umpires on and off the field at half time and full time. You'll also provide water for the umpire at the quarter and three quarter breaks and support with reports post match. At the end of the game, ask umpires if there are any reports. So, stay with the umpire as a support mechanism. Keep other people out of the umpire's room until the report is completed. When ready to communicate to parties, act as a supporting role by being a silent partner as umpire communicates to parties. However, if parties disagree or confront umpire, it is the ground marshal's duty to intervene and cut off conversation. Refer correspondence to the league. You should also know the rules in the following circumstances. Stretcher. If in the opinion of the first aid officer, a stretcher is required, assist coordinating the transport of the player to outside the fence via the shortest, most direct route. The player may not return for 20 minutes, and if the first aid officer believes an ambulance is required, the ground marshal calls in consultation with the first aid officer. Extreme weather. In the event of extreme weather, contact the league for direction. Send-offs. If an umpire sends off a player with a yellow card, they must remain off for the current and next quarter. If an umpire sends off a player or official with a red card, they are off for the rest of the game. For both circumstances, players can be replaced immediately. You will monitor and assist if required. Coach's box. Permitted in the coach's box include the coach, assistant coach, team manager, runner, and interchange players. All other volunteers must remain outside. For more information, please download the competition rules and ground marshal resources from the website. Any issues on match day should be resolved by calling the league administration. Your help as a ground marshal means a safe and friendly environment for everyone on match day. Thanks for your support of Junior AFL.